about the Queen James Version. This is once again Brother Mike Abeto and what you are about to hear and learn tonight will make you shock and wonder why we have this kind of Bible version in our market today. And as we start, the New International Version or known as commonly NIV, like what I told you in our previous video, that we have four different revisions of the NIV. Not translation, not edition, but revisions. All right? We have 1973, 1978, 2008, and we have a 2011. And now in this study, you will also learn how the devil move inside the local churches in the whole entire world using these so-called women preachers. So let's get started. Now, in Romans chapter number 16, verse number 1, as you can see in our slide, there are two new international versions. One is 1973 and one is 1978. In 1973, it says, I commend you, I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a deacon of the church in Caesarea. In 1978, I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a servant of the church in Caesarea. As you can see, both NIBs are not much, and they disagree with each other. But not just that, it says in 1973, it says, Sister Phoebe, a deacon. And in the other side, in 1978, it says, Sister Phoebe, a servant. What's the differences between them, between those words? The differences are, you and I, we can be servants. Uh, whether you are a man or a woman, you can be a servant as long as you are saved. But a, a deacon, you cannot be a deacon if you are a woman. Why? Because in 1 Timothy chapter number 3, verses 1 down to verse number 12, there is a qualification for a deacon. In 1 Timothy chapter number 3, verse number 12, it says, Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife, ruling their children and their own houses well. You see that? Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife. So that means a deacon should be a man. And from the first place, Sister Phoebe is disqualified. Why? Because she is a woman. And he, she cannot be a deacon. Why? Because being a deacon, it requires you to be a man and a husband. Alright? So she's disqualified. But if she's a deacon in the NIV, that means she fulfilled the requirements. Now in the next slide, look at this, the next slide. Do you agree with homosexuality? Number one, as we read in NIV 1973, that Phoebe is a sister and a deacon of the church in Caesarea. This is a clear contradiction in their Bible. Because in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse number 12, a deacon should have a one wife. This means a deacon is a man. Number two, this contradiction is the way of Satan to promote and formulated lesbianism. Since Phoebe is a deacon and a deacon should have a wife, then this makes clear that NIV finds the way to justify the abomination of lesbians or women with women. You see that? If Sister Phoebe is a deacon, she fulfilled 1 Timothy chapter number 3, verse number 12. She's a lesbian. That means the New International Version or NIV promoted lesbianism. Of course, it's not surprising because in our uh, previous video, I showed you that it was Virginia Mollingcott, a lesbian, all right? And she's, uh, she's the one who seated behind the publication of the New International Version. And the next slide, as you can see, now this is a gender bias. In King James Bible, in Genesis chapter 4, verse number 26, it says, Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. And IV, Genesis chapter 4, verse number 26, people instead the word men. Genesis chapter 6, verse number 1, 
And it came to pass when man began to multiply on the face of the earth, it says, human, in the NIV. Genesis 11:5, And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. You see the word people is there. Next slide. Genesis chapter 12, verse number 16, And he entreated Abram well for her sake, and he had sheep and oxen, and he asses, and men servants and maid servants and she asses and camels and ivy male and female donkeys now in the new in the king james version it says he asses back in the new international version it says donkeys what's the problem with that no because even the animals the king james bible put a gender with the animals but the niv it says donkeys you don't have the gender next slide king james bible genesis chapter 13 verse number 7 and there was a stripe between the herdmen of abram's cattle and the herdmen of lot's cattle and the canaanite and the perizzite dwelled in the land genesis 13 7 of the niv abram's herdsmen and lots the word man was totally gone from the NIV. Why? Because they put the word lots, apostrophe S. Next slide. Matthew chapter number 2, verse number 1. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. NIV says Magi. Matthew chapter number 2, verse number 16. He had diligently inquired of the wise men, it says, Magi. You see that? There was no wise man in their Bible. They removed the wise man and they put the word Magi, Magi, whatever. NIB, they want to get rid of the word man in their Bible. See the next slide. King James Bible. Matthew chapter 4, verse number 21. Mending their nets. NIV, preparing their nets. Matthew 4, 24, torments. NIV, suffering, writing of divorcement. Matthew 5, 31. NIV says, certificate. Matthew 6, 13, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, the, from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Matthew chapter number 6, verse number 13 has been removed in the NIV. Why? Because the word Amen is there. Now, those words that I projected in this slide, as you can see, those are not separated words. Alright? As the word tormented. Alright? The word man is there. And instead of using the word tormented, they use the word suffering. See the next slide. Matthew chapter number 7, verse number 2. For with what judgment? NIV it says judge. Matthew 8, 6 tormented and they, they use the word suffering Matthew 8 18 commandment you have the NIV he said it says he gave orders Matthew 11 17 it says lamented in the NIV it says mourn you see those words it's not just once twice or thrice many times the NIV deleted the word man in their Bible whites because of course the person behind these Bible versions are lesbian. They want to get rid of the word man in the Bible. I'll show you the next slide. All right. In Psalms chapter 68, verse number 11, it says, The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Now look at the insertion of the word women in the NIV. It says, The Lord announces the word, and the women who proclaim it are a mighty throng you see that all right did you see it very carefully it says mighty women how could it be possible for women to be inserted in that verse why it's because of course the person behind these modern bible versions let me show you another slide now it says in genesis chapter 5 verse number 2 male and female you see that male and female created he that's god he them referring to male and female that's adam and eve and blessed them and called their name 
There is no S. The word name is singular. Adam. And their name is Adam. Mrs. Adam and Mr. Adam. In the day when they were created. Now it says in Romans chapter 1 verse number 26 to 27. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. And the next slide, you will be surprised that even the Antichrist, listen to this, you'll, you'll be surprised about this, that even the Antichrist probably will be a gay leader. He will be a member of LGBT community. I'll show you that. The Antichrist, a gay leader. Now look at Daniel chapter number 11, verse number 36 to 37. It says, And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god. Take note of that. And shall he speak marvelous things against the God of gods and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished for that that is determined shall be done. Look at verse number 37. Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, Jewish, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God for he shall magnify himself above all. You see that? He doesn't have any desire with women. If he doesn't have desire with women, all right, imagine, he desire a man. You see that? So, even the Antichrist will be a gay leader. There's no doubt that LGBT is of the devil. There's no issue about that. There's no shadow of doubt that this LGBT community who promoted this uh, de devilish sexual, I'm sorry, pardon my word. But this is the truth of the word of God. They, they are a sexual pervert. All right. In the next slide, I will show you about the Queen James Version. And many people, of course, they would love this. Why? It's because this supports the doctrine or belief and practice of LGBT community. Look at this. The Queen James Bible, number one. The Queen James Bible or QJV also called the gay bible is an edit of the biblical text really done in the name of preventing homophobic interpretations to accomplish this goal the publishers printed a bible in which all negative references to homosexuality have been removed the queen james bible was published in 2012 and is based on the 17, 1769 edition of the king james bible number two the publishers of the queen james bible choose the name queen james as an obvious take off on the king james version as the authorized version of 1611 as commonly called number three the publishers of the gay bible also claim that king james was bisexual so their choice of the capitalizers on the slang meaning of the term queen I hope that's clear all right so there is no doubt why we have these women preachers why we have this lgbt community shouting proclaiming their freedom and you cannot you're not just allowed to persecute them because you will be jailed there's a lot of problem with in our time today why because of these modern corrupt english bibles all right so many pastors preachers are still blind about this issue i hope we propagate this issue and share this video so we can reach other churches about what's happening right now with the issue of bible versions today so once again thank you so much for watching god bless you